Hi everyone, I'm back for another unboxing and today that's a special statue, uh, it's a Super Saiyan 4 Goku, that's the statue that you probably saw in many of my videos in my background, but now I'm letting that statue go, so I was like, should I do a video about that statue? Definitely yes, because it's one of the best 1-4 out there and it's set the GT model, so it's the best GT out there. So I was like, let's do it. You know what? I'm going to show you the box, show you the statue, put it together. At least you'll get my thought about that statue if you think about getting it. Um, why am I I'm selling it? If you guys are wondering if it's that good, it's because I want to stop uh, GT. And I kind of want to like stop also Super. I want to just focus the Dragon Ball Z. So I was like, okay, should I sell that one, get another one instead? So I'm letting it go today. The guy's going to pick it up later in a couple hours. So I was like, okay, let's do the video for them. I hope they like it. You know what? Let's do it. So we'll start with the box. Uh, as usual, those boxes are empty since I need to put the statue back in. But I'm going to show you the box real quick. We got two boxes, so a small one like this. And we have the same one bigger. I'm going to take the box out so at least you can see the art box because that statue come with the hard box. So that's really cool to have that. And the art box is actually super sick. And I know that statue is going for crazy price now since it's a hard one to find. So that's the small box that we do have here. So we have the details. I think that's the back. The side, same thing. We have all the dimension, the weight, and the limited edition. So it's like 600 pieces. We got the drawing of the ape on the back, and we got Goku, the drawing on the side. That used to be the fun heart. That's where uh, Exceed uh, sold the project with that photo, and we got the top. So, super nice box. I mean, I love when they do a hard box like that. I'm going to show you the other box. So you guys can get some closer look. And we got the other one. So the small box is Kid Goku, and the big box is Goku 4. And so that's the other box, so you guys can see better. So we have, I think the same thing are written on the side, same thing on the other side, on the front look exactly the same. So the only thing that changed is the top. So on the other one, it used to be Kid Goku with the ape. Now we got Goku or like Adult Senjin 4. So really, really nice art box. So you guys are probably wondering why two box uh, is because that statue come with a lot, a lot, a lot of pieces. We got almost like 20 pieces. They're all on the floor in front of me so I can grab it and put it together and show you guys. But yeah, it's a lot of pieces for sure. So we'll start with the base. That is actually <clears throat> really nice. The bottom is, I mean, really nice. No, it's not really nice. I mean, it's okay. The bottom is not that great. It's a sticker with like a rubber or something material. But it's huge, huge statue. So we got the logo. So here, magnet. So that's the tricky part, guys, is actually to find every aura so we got one aura that go on the back so I just take it away I mean I just separate everything and you guys will see it's kind of like tricky to build that one and figure it out where aura go where but we'll do it together might go right here but another small aura is missing on the back I'm not gonna show you every aura I'm trying to figure it out yeah this one coming right here that just might go like that is it this one coming here yes that is actually pretty nice first time that I put it together it was a pain but with you guys it seems to be okay that's the power of love and then this one should go here is it yes so after we got Another base kind of thing there, you're going to put it here where you're going to put your Goku, your kid Goku and the old Goku, the adult Goku. But that part right here is supposed to hold 
also every aura because when you put the, the aura first without this, the aura will move a lot. So we're good for the best part, guys. Look at that body. I mean, it's huge, honestly. That's the best part about that statue is the size. I mean, the skin, the texture, that statue is really nice. I'm letting it go because, I mean, when I think about it, I don't want to let it go because it's a really good statue. But when I think about GT, I'm like, okay, that statue is awesome. Yes. Do I like GT that much? No. So should I keep statue that I don't really like for my collection when just to keep statue and have a lot of statue? No, I think I should sell some statue. That's why I'm letting go some couple statue and get statue that I love most. Maybe outside of Dragon Ball. Uh, I just pre yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, but I ordered yesterday Death Stranding uh, Sam Porter uh, Prime One with a silicone. That one's gonna be epic. <laughs> I can't wait for that one. But it's super expensive, so I have to sell a couple statue and and save up some money because it's about four, I think four thousand grand or something. Okay, now we're gonna put this. So that's the other aura where the kid Goku will be in the front. See if I can put it in. Like this. Oh wait, first. You have sm three small little aura that you have to put in between the legs of Goku. So, I can't remember which one go where, but no. Maybe. So, if you guys are wa asking or wondering if those small aura are like uh, resin, yes, they are. So, you have to be careful. You really do. There it is, and then now I can put that, so I don't have to touch uh, Goku's feet. Boom, there it is. And you have to put the last aura part in the front of Goku, so it will hold. Oh, maybe, wait, I didn't write. You have to put the first one here, then the other one here. Oh, wait, so the left one will go first. And the other one will go on top to hold the first one, like this, to hold together. And to hold those two, you have to put this right here. And then the last one, I'll go right there normally. Boom. And now, we got Kid Goku, also really well done. The painting and texture, I'll go some close-up, but you guys will see it's a really nice statue. Boom. We have the arm and the belt so we do have the same pose as old goku on the back we got the face of kid goku that is actually really nice too i like it a lot we got the tail of the goku Saiyan 4 and one of the best thing also that i love the most about that statue is that face i mean wow it's really nice when I look at it, I'm like, it sucks that I'm selling it, but you know what, we cannot, I cannot pay for everything, every statue, so you have to choose in one point in your collection, so, and we have the two air part, I'll go right here, so the hair will go on the neck, boom, so there it is guys, we also have the certificate, so that's exceed certificate for some reason, they give you a card, a proof of authenticity card, but they don't have a number on it. So that's kind of stupid that Exceed do that. I don't know if they change. Well, it will change in the future, but yeah. So that's it. Uh, you guys saw how did I put it together. Um, it's a, not that, it was okay actually. I thought it was harder to put it together from what I remember, but it was okay. It was not that bad. But as you guys can see, it's a really big statue and it's a really nice statue. If you do like Dragon Ball GT, I mean, that statue is a must have. Especially it's a one for scale, so it's a really, really nice statue. It sucks that I'm letting it go, but you know you have to choose in one point, so that's okay. But let's do some close-ups, some 360 view, and we'll come back to talk about the statue. Let's do it.
Okay guys, so we'll start with the bass. I'm not gonna take too much time on the bass since like it's a real plain bass, brown with some fade of black, but we're gonna go on the, the logo. I mean, the logo is okay. It's not crazy, it's not bad, but I mean, it's okay. Nothing, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, it is, the paint is not bad, but it's not like a really, real nice logo like Tsume can do, we all know, so I mean, we're not gonna take time to, for that, but we'll go straight to the aura effect. So that's the cool part about that statue is that you can see the energy blast going all over the base with those two Goku like, like really like ready to fight is transforming. So that's Kid Goku transforming to the Saiyajin Force. So that's super sick. I mean, that statue is really nice. So we'll go on the Kid Goku. So that's pretty cool. We got some texture. Uh, actually, you also get some texture on the boots, so it's cool that XE did like a texture uh, resin because most of XE's statue are not like texture at all, so it's super cool to have that. I mean, it's not too much, it's okay. See, the skin doesn't have texture, but the clothes do, so I mean, it's really nice. The face of Goku, Kid Goku, is pretty cool. The paint job on the mouth, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's actually really well done. The paint on the face as well. It's super cool. But now we'll go for the best part. This guy right here. So same thing here. We got some texture on the boots and also on the pants. And then the, um, what do you say? The hair on the chest, I mean on the arm, is super well done, guys. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but in video but it's really well done it's really really cool and the face I mean that is the best part 100% about that statue is the face of the Goku 4 I mean the paint job the hair is 100% perfect I'll not change anything I mean that statue is really nice I know it's a non-official but come on guys you have to admit that is a really nice statue what do you think you like this Goku better than this one? What do you like the most on that statue? Let me know down below. I'm super curious to know what you guys think about it. Yeah, look at it. The face, the paint on the eyes. I mean, wow. Awesome. So that's it, guys. That was the close-up and 360 view. Uh, let me know down below what do you think about that statue. Do you think like I make a mistake of selling it or did I make the right choice to sell that statue to get other statue, Dragon Ball Z statue? I'm curious to know if you guys are watching the video, if you're more like a Dragon Ball Z fan or Dragon Ball Z GT, I mean Dragon Ball GT uh, fan or Dragon Ball actually or Super. So let me know down below if you actually like think it was a good choice to sell that statue or not. I'm really curious about what you think. But again, super nice statue. I love it, but sometimes you have to let go some statue that you still love. I mean, you do love, so that statue is awesome. Uh, the next owner will be thrilled to have that statue, so I'm really happy for him to share my passion and actually give him my statue. But yeah, it was, it was super cool again to do an unboxing. I hope you like my unboxing and my video. Remember, guys, you, if you do like uh, my video, to show that you love, you can uh, like and subscribe. That really helped the channel. If we get bigger, maybe I get more unboxing for you guys. I can actually, you can actually request me a DM on Instagram or down below if you like a special type of unboxing. Maybe I should do more stuff like Dragon Ball or like unboxing video game. I'm thinking about bigger stuff now, but let me know down below what you think or what you like to see on my channel. I'm super curious also to see what you actually like the most or what you like to see next. So remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'll be super happy to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.